Well, Finn, it's been quite a few months for you at Brentford since you've arrived. How much are you enjoying your football at the moment? Yeah, I'm enjoying it uh, loads, actually. Been uh, getting loads of game time, experience, uh, good sessions in with the first team and with the B team as well. So, yeah, it's going well. Obviously, you've made your, your first team debut. Did that come a little bit sooner than you, you, you first thought when, when, you, when you joined? Yeah, much sooner, actually. I didn't think uh, I'd be doing that in the first year I signed, to put it that way. Um, but there was an opportunity for me in training when someone got injured to step in and uh, I thought I'd done quite well. And then they kept like calling me back to train, kept doing well. And then Brian just said to me one day, we'll try and get you your debut tomorrow. And I was just really surprised. What went through your head when he, when he said that? Yeah, a bit of nervousness, but a more uh, excitement, to be fair, yeah. How proud a moment was that for like yourself, your family, your friends as well? Yeah, a very proud moment, especially um, for me and my family. And uh, very nice of Brian for giving me the opportunity and Thomas. So yeah, very proud. You obviously, you were involved in the match day squad with, with Wickham as well, and yeah. you, you began to train a bit more with the first team. Um, and then to step out against Fulham, what was that feeling like when you stepped onto the pitch? Yeah, you just felt like it was kind of surreal, even though there was no fans and that, and we was freeing it up, so probably one as, uh, wasn't as much pressure as there would have been. It, you just still felt like it was just an unbelievable experience, really, to step on the pitch and play. You came on for the, I think it was in the, the 79th minute, yeah. around the last 10, 11 minutes. When did you, you find out you were coming on? Do you have to kind of like prepare yourself mentally when you get told that? Yeah, I think I was warming up for nearly the whole of the second half. And then I went and sat down uh, for about five minutes and then Brian said warm up again. So then I thought like could be coming on so I was just properly like warming up, doing running and that. And then he called my name over and said like get ready so that was when it was getting a bit real. Did Brian and Thomas kind of give you any little any tips or advice just before you went on or? Uh, yeah, Thomas spoke to me before and just said like good luck before I was going to come on. Uh, Brian showed me all like the tactics and that and just said good luck so yeah it was, it was good. How did you feel you did when you came on? Yeah, I thought I'd done well. I'd touched the ball about four or five times, done a, done a good little tackle, but yeah, it was good just to get a feel of the ball in the, in the game. Did the other players give you a bit of, bit of praise afterwards? Yeah, definitely. They all said well done. And then uh, the change room, Thomas said it um, like a well done to me for getting my debut and that, and everyone kind of said well done, yeah. Then you come back into the dressing room and you turn your phone on for the first time. Yeah. What was the, did, did it blow up completely? Or? Yeah, there was just loads and loads of messages, just kept. Like you couldn't even click the top top of my phone without clicking on a new message, but yeah, it was, it was really good. Obviously, you've been added to the Rob Rowe and first team debut board. And you're in company of the likes of recent uh, players that have made their debut, like Freddie Hammer, Jan, both Mads as well. Yeah. Does that kind of make you you really proud for that? And it's just a great achievement, isn't it? Yeah, I think that was one of my goals to try and get on that board, and for it to come this soon is a very proud moment. Yeah. You obviously came from Worthing not, not that long ago. How much of those experiences playing for Worthing and playing that men's football has kind of set you up to kind of kick on? Yeah, I think it's kind of like a shout out to Hinch for giving me the chance to play in that, in that level and playing against men every week definitely set me up to play, uh, play in that game. So you just the physicalness and the sharpness, it's helped me. How, how has the, the experience making that debut made you feel? Does it make you feel even more hungrier, I guess? Yeah, because as soon as you get a bit, you want more, so you just want to keep playing and getting more minutes. Hopefully, maybe try and even get a start soon somewhere. So yeah, it's all about that that kind of next step, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. What do you think that the key to to really kicking on is going to be for you? I think keep working hard and proving yourself in training, uh, doing well in the B team games, B team training, because that's where like you get in and where Neil pushes you up, and then being sharp and on it and uh, in first team training as well. I suppose the staff and the other players, they'll, they'll maintain that kind of thing that you have to continue to work hard to, yeah. to achieve more, won't they? Yeah, that's only the start really, that's just the start, so I want to keep uh, progressing and try and get more minutes, yeah. And if we look at the, the B team, how have things gone for you with, with the B team in particular? Have you been impressed by the start of the season with the boys? Yeah, very impressed, yeah, even with the new boys coming in, I think it's a very good standard in the B team. Got some good games lined up, so uh, I think it should be a good season. Obviously, um, working under Neil and Sam, how do they help you, you settle in? Oh, they've helped me loads. They've uh, been talking to me, pulling me aside, one-to-one -one chats, telling me how I'm getting on, what I can do better. So I just uh, take their advice on board and then just put it into my game. Obviously, 6-2 win on, uh, on Tuesday night against Hendon. That must have been really pleasing considering what happened in the final. 
Yeah, it was really pleasing actually because uh, we obviously lost 1 0 in the final, and to get revenge back on them and at their place, it was a very good score, yeah.